Tech in 5. Python in practice, master real-world projects in 5 minutes. Cross-validation, a crucial technique in machine learning. Let's explore it together. Welcome to Tech in 5. Today, we're diving into cross-validation that helps ensure the reliability and robustness of your models. What is cross-validation? Cross-validation is a method for evaluating model performance. Unlike a simple train test split, cross-validation systematically uses different portions of the data for training and validation, maximizing both the training and testing process. There are several types of cross-validation, with k-fold and leave one out being among the most popular. In k-fold cross-validation, the data is divided into k equal parts, or folds. Each fold gets a turn as the testing set, while the rest serve as the training set. Leave one out, on the other hand, is a special case of k-fold, where each fold contains just one data point. Using cross-validation brings numerous advantages to model training. Firstly, it reduces the risk of your model just memorizing the data, also known as overfitting, by continuously rotating the training and testing datasets. Cross-validation ensures that every data point gets to be in both the training and testing sets, which helps in assessing the model's performance more accurately. This method not only enhances the reliability of your model, but also its ability to generalize to new, unseen data, thereby increasing robustness. Let's break down how we set up cross-validation using scikit-learn, starting with the code that handles everything from data loading to evaluating our model. This will give us a clear insight into how each line contributes to the overall process. First, we import the IRIS dataset from scikit-learn, a popular dataset for machine learning beginners. It consists of measurements of iris flowers and is used for classification tasks. Next, we load this dataset into our environment. X represents our features, attributes like petal length and width, while Y contains our target labels, which are the species of iris. We then set up a random forest classifier. This is a powerful model that uses multiple trees to make decisions and is known for its accuracy and robustness. Now for the key part, cross-validation. We use the cross-val score function to perform five-fold cross-validation. This means the data is divided into five parts, and the model is trained and tested five separate times to ensure reliability. Finally, we print out the accuracy scores for each fold, as well as the average score. These scores help us understand how well our model is likely to perform on unseen data, highlighting the effectiveness of cross-validation. Now, let's interpret the results. The output gives us accuracy scores for each fold, reflecting how our model performed on each separate segment of our dataset. These scores highlight the consistency of our model across different data slices. An average score across folds, like we see here, helps us gauge the overall effectiveness of our model. If one fold score significantly differs from others, it could indicate issues like model overfitting or data imbalance. Based on these results, we might adjust our model parameters or try different techniques to enhance model stability and accuracy. Fine-tuning our model based on cross-validation can significantly improve performance, making our model more robust and reliable for practical applications. This comprehensive approach not only tests our model thoroughly, but also provides us with confidence in its predictive power. In summary, by using cross-validation, we're making sure our model is tested across all available data, reducing the chance of overfitting, and increasing our confidence in its generalization abilities. As we wrap up our journey through cross-validation, let's briefly revisit what we've learned today. Cross-validation is a critical technique in machine learning that helps prevent overfitting and ensures that your model performs well on unseen data. We've seen how it systematically uses different subsets of the dataset to train and validate the model, providing a robust estimate of its performance. This method enhances your model's reliability and helps fine-tune it to achieve better accuracy. Thank you for joining me in Tech in 5. Looking ahead, we'll explore more advanced machine learning techniques in our videos. Until then, continue exploring and enhancing your machine learning skills. Happy learning, and I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Stay tuned for more videos on Tech in 5.